Hello my friends! Welcome to the 30 days rank post challenge, where I'm uploading a new ML guide for 30 days straight. Today we're on day 8 and it's Monday! Hooray! Here you have the full upload plan for the challenge. Today we will talk about the weaknesses of all assassins. Again, the same disclaimer applies as for the video about the weaknesses of all fighters. I have covered everything, what I think are the most important weaknesses of each assassin. But if you main any of those heroes and like to torture yourself, feel free to add additional informations in the comments. And talking about comments, the 5 shoutouts of the day goes to Hai Stabi, Kiet Dang, Lion, Nikesh Kesi and Nini. If you want to have the chance to get a shoutout in the next video, write something nice or as mentioned, additional information about an assassin in the comments. I really appreciated these comments in my video about the fighter's weaknesses. Thank you all for that. One last quick note, do not forget about the giveaway, I am running for the challenge. The rules and all information you need can be found in the description box below. Now let's get into the meaty part. Benedetta. She is super strong against most heroes in a 1v1, especially in the early game. So if you are up against her on the XP lane, pick a hero that has a very strong early game as well. Or one that has a very high power spike at level 4. Also, because of her strong 1v1 ability, avoid fighting alone against her. Rather, ask your team for help to pick her up together. She is also quite vulnerable to CC skills if they are timed correctly. Her second skill can make her immune to CC effects, except suppression effects, and stuns you for 1.5 seconds if you try to CC her. So be very careful with your CC attempts. Either wait until she has used her second skill or ambush her so that she has almost no reaction time to use it. She also has problems against heroes with high mobility. Catching these heroes is really difficult for her because they can easily dodge her first skill and they are able to catch her when she tried to escape after using her skills. And they are able to catch her when she tried to escape after using her skills. You can also use burst damage heroes against her since she is quite squishy, like actually all assassin heroes. And as a final tip, she will have trouble against strong late game heroes as they can simply two shot her to the moon. Fanny. The first really effective way to counter her is to buy anti heal items, namely Sea Albert, Nectus of Durance and Dominance Eyes. What makes her so scary is her spell vamp ability, which is reduced by 50% once you deal damage to her for 3 seconds. Or in the case of Dominance Eyes, when you're near to her. Make sure at least two heroes in your team have an anti heal item. Especially when you play against a godly fanny, who dominates the game from the beginning on. Next, stay away from walls and tight spots. If you're near a wall, she can simply spam her skills and kill you and your team in no time without any effort. Also, if your team keeps some distance to each other, it's much harder for her to use her strengths. Next, something all of you should know, she is super dependent on the blue buff. So if you're playing against a fanny, use heroes that can easily invade her jungle. Franco or Joyd for example. Also, you can use the blue buff area as a perfect spot for ambushes, since she will definitely show up there as soon as the buff is up and she will be weak, because she obviously does not have the buff at the moment. Next thing you should know, she will become weaker in the late game when everyone has their build. So if you get totally destroyed by a fanny, hang on as long as you can. On the other hand, with anti-healing items, you should be able to not let that happen. Lastly, Using heroes who can easily stop her with CC skills are her worst nightmare. Examples are Kufra, Silvana, Akai, Franco or Ruby. Gushan. Prevent getting tagged by his first skill. I would not use immobile heroes against him, like Layla for example. They are just food for him and you have little to no chance to escape him. If you are playing a squishy hero, either go for one with high mobility who can easily dodge his first skill or use one that can stun him as soon as he gets near to you. Also, if you have been tagged, run into your tower or towards your allies. The Gushin player will think twice if it's a good idea to kill you now, but getting the immediate backlash into his face. If you use a hero with high mobility, you can also just escape, because Gushin can only follow you up to a certain distance. As a squishy hero, you can also use minions, jungle creeps or your lovely tank as a shield against his first skill. Also, by the way, don't forget to thank your tank if he is awesome. Which also means you should be very careful when you are alone. Last, don't give him the chance to snowball. 
When a Gushin starts to dominate, you and your team need to do everything you can to shut him down. Focus all your effort on stopping him and wait for the late game. Almost all assassins become less scary once the teams start to stick together for ganks. Hanzo. The first tip is to hunt him down early on. Without his ult, he is incredibly weak. So using a strong early game hero to hunt him down from the start is a really effective way to make him useless. He is also very vulnerable to ambushes. Because as mentioned, if he's not using his ult, he only have one weak AoE skill, which does not stop you from picking him up. Next, one of you should pick a hero that can easily hunt down his real body when he uses his ult. Examples are Natalia, Helkert, Hayabusa, Ling, Harley or Zilong. Another tip that many of you don't know I think, while Hanzo is using his ult and hides in the tower, you can attack his body without the tower attacking you. So make sure that your minions are in the tower and you can easily attack his body. Lastly, when he uses his second skill, make sure that he cannot hit multiple targets with it, including minions or jungle creeps for example. Once he can use his first skill, most squishy heroes are doomed. Hayabusa. First, the exact opposite of Hanzo applies to him. Against him, you need to make sure that you have minions, creeps or allies nearby. With his ult, he attacks all targets randomly. So if you have 3 minions around you, his damage is much lower. You can also counter his ult by using the item Winter Junction or Wind of Nature. Wind of Nature makes you immune to all physical damage for 2 seconds as marksman and 1 second for all other hero rolls. So this should be only used by marksman. Winter Junction is useful for all heroes who deal magic damage. With a free skill, you become frozen for 2 seconds, which also makes you immune to any damage. Next, avoid any one on one situation against him. You will most likely lose. As with Benedetta, pick him up with your allies together. Otherwise, you can also counter pick him quite easily. There are many heroes who can counter him. Examples are Sun, Cho, Saber, Jawhead, Kaja or Hellcurt. Last and the most important tip of the whole video, you can turn off shadows in the option menu. Then he can no longer use his shadows and becomes useless. I hope no one took that seriously. Hellcurt. Ah, uh, my fallen brother. Moonton nerfed him so hard that he became part of the nerf to death tier list. As long as his stacks are not full, he's not really scary. Once he uses his ult, run unpredictable, so he hopefully misses his jump on you. Also stay close, but not too close to your allies. If you are silenced, but your teammates are not, he's gonna to have a really fun time. Not. Otherwise use heroes with strong basic attacks. It's impossible to him to jump on the late game hero like Layla for example. In the late game of course. Wind of Nature and Winter Trunction works as well against him. Karina. Use heroes that have strong CC or burst damage abilities. This way you can easily take her out of the game. This way you can easily take her out of the game as soon as she starts to approach the squishy heroes. Also, be very careful when your HP is low to not become easy fodder for her. A team with low HP is like a wet dream for her. If your HP is low, either be very careful or recall back to the base to not end up feeding her. She is also not the strongest in the early game. So again, a good target to invade her jungle early on. Lancelot. If he wants to use a second skill, make sure you are either close to him or sidestep it. Depending on what area you are in, he deals more or less damage. Otherwise, you can also stay near minions, creeps or allies. The damage of a second skill decreases when he hits multiple enemies. With the right timing, CC skills are also very effective against him. And after he is stunned, you just burst him down before he can move again. Heroes with high mobility are of course also good against him. Ling. I can copy and paste a lot of things I said about Fanny here. He's super dependent on his blue buff. So make sure you steal it or ambush him there. If you see him on the wall, try to push him down. He gets slowed for 2 seconds and becomes a good target for you. He is also another assassin that you can harass early on. Lastly, you can use heroes against him that have a lock on skill. For example, if you use Jawhead's ult, you can follow him anywhere and push him off the wall. After that, you just have to finish him off. Natalia. First, a squishy hero, you should stick together with your allies. If you run around alone, a good Natalia player will pick you up non-stop. Next, you should use heroes with good CC skills. 
This applies against almost all assassins, as you may have noticed. In general, this is the best way to stop them and pick them up easily. You could also use heroes that reveal her position. Examples are Yu Sun Shin or Leslie. And finally, and most importantly maybe, stop her from farming. When she farms, when she farms, she can easily be caught off guard. So you should have a hero in the team who can easily hunt her down when she tries to farm. If she's under farmed, she cannot hurt anyone anymore. And all strong and squishy late game heroes can kill her easily, as soon as you try to approach them. Oh yeah, one last tip. Heroes with high mobility can also hunt her down, before she escapes into invisibility. Saber. I love playing Saber, as does anyone else at the moment I guess. Right now, so on August the 2nd, 2021, I would simply recommend to ban him. Unless you have the first pick and want to play him, banning him, banning him is the best way to stop him. Otherwise, I have a few tips for you. Stick together to survive. If you're together with one or two teammates, it's gonna be a lot harder for him to pick out one of you without your being able to give him the full backlash. Next, you should catch him with heroes who have a high mobility or who have a lock on skill when he tries to escape. After he uses ult, he gets pretty weak, so this is the perfect time to take him down. In ganks, he's also less scary because his skills are so single targeted. Just make sure to protect the carry and you're safer from him. Safer, not safe. Aegis is also a very good spell to survive his combo. Also when he uses his first skill, you can see his blades before you can even see him. So as soon as you see them, run away or use this information to ambush him. But only do that if you can burst him down before he can react or it will backfire at you. Selena. Last, we have Selena. When you play against her, always be prepared for her second skill coming at you. Always and at any time. Use the minimap and check if you can see her on it. If not, you could be in danger. To dodge it, you should always sidestep it. So it's better to play a hero with blink skills because it makes it much easier to dodge it. Next, it's very good to use heroes with CC removal or purify. To avoid being stunned and picked up, or when Selena engages in her abyssal form to turn the situation around and kill her. Tough boots also work very well because of the 30% CC reduction. Sticking together with your team also works very well against her. And finally, ambushes also work super well against her when you just burst her down. Now that we are done with the video, I give you today's secret code for the giveaway. It is... Quiet. Again, you will find all information about the giveaway in the description. Now, go and check out the whole playlist, or if you are a daily viewer, see you tomorrow, have a great day.